hello guys welcome to the next tutorial on WPF application using C sharp till now we have uh, made uh, an application where we can save update or delete data in the Escalite database using our WPF application on C sharp in this video I will show you how to connect combo box with your SQLite database so for example I need a combo box and I want to populate all the names in the my database so let me show you my database first so for example I have this database where I have table employee ID name surname and age and I want to show all the list of names in the combo box so first of all what is a combo box combo box is like this so you have a drop down menu so when you click combo box it will show some values list of values okay so in the same manner I want to show all the names in the combo box in my WPF application so how can I do that I will show you now so first of all I will stop debugging so I have this form and I will go to my toolbox and I will take a combo box from here and drag and drop in my window if you want you can change the name of this combo box I leave this combo box name as default and then what I will do is I will go to its code section so uh, it, right now I am in second dot xaml file and I will go to second dot xaml dot cs file which is its code file and I will make a new function make sure that you are making your, the new function below this declaration of escalite connecting string database so below this you uh, can make a function so for example I want to make a function for filling this combo so I will name my function as fill combo function okay bracket and bracket closed this is my function and it's returning nothing so I will give void as return and in here I will write my code so if you are following this video in the last video I have shown you how to delete your database using this delete button just double click it and copy all the code in between this function because we are going to use the same function of same code which we have written in this button delete click event or you can use any other code for example from this update click button event or your save click event and copy and paste your code from there to here so this code is like this we have declared this uh, database connection first so our database name is database.db and version is 3 then we are creating a connect uh, connection instance so I write escalate connection and give it a variable name is equal to new escalate connection and I pass this connection string here and then I have a try catch block first and then I am opening the connection with the escalate database and here I declare a string in which I will pass the query so because in the last video we are deleting the database that's why we have written this query for deleting but in this video uh, we will write a different query that we will see later and then we have this escalate command 
create command is equal to new SQLite command and we are passing our query and connection as argument here okay and then we are executing query and then we show the message that our query is executed in the delete case it's deleted so just copy this code from uh, the last video and paste it here or uh, otherwise otherwise you can copy this code also and now we are going to make some changes so what changes we need we will delete this message dot show delete because we don't need it and we will comment this command dot execute query because we also don't need it then we are going to change this query so instead of deleting database let me delete all the all the query so I in the query I will write select star from my table name my table name is employee info if you can see here table name and in this table name I have column EID name surname and age right so just remember that so I have written select star from employee ID here then I created the SQLite command and in the next line I will make the SQLite data reader so I write SQLite data reader and I give it a variable name maybe dr is equal to new not new but uh, just copy this SQLite command here to here dot execute reader bracket and bracket closed so it's reading the values from this query so it exit this data reader will execute this query and read the values in this data reader now we will make a while loop for reading all the values one by one while and bracket and bracket closed and in here in the while argument we will pass this dr which is our data reader dot read so till this data reader reads the value we are executing our while loop okay and in here I will declare a string and I want to save the name here so I will write name is equal to dr dot get string bracket and bracket closed and in here I will pass the column number of the column whose data I want so I want to show the name in my combo box right so my combo box for or, or my column for com uh, for the name is 0 1 so my column number is 1 if we were we wanted to uh, show the surname in the database we would have taken two because this is zeroth column first column second column third column so in my get value argument i will pass one because this name is my first column okay i go to my code and i pass here dr dot get value one because i want the value from my first col column then I will go to my design view I will select my combo box I will copy the name of my combo box which is combo box 1 and once again go to my code section and below this uh, string name I paste my combo box name dot items 
dot add bracket and bracket closed so this code will add one by one items to my combo box and what we are we want to add the this this name so just copy this string variable and paste it here okay so it will read the names one by one and it will set the names to the combo box one by one because we are executing this in the while loop okay so if you want you can just pause the video and copy this code let me make it little bit small so all code will come in the screen so just copy this code and what you need to do next is just copy the name of this function just copy it and go to the constructor or the initialization of uh, this mm, this second window so wherever your initialize component function is there just search for this initialize component and just below this initialize component paste your fill combo function and close it so what it will do is whenever you run your program or whenever this window starts it automatically calls this function at the start of the your program so we it will call this function and it will fill the combo box with the name so let's see if it works or not i run the program and first of all i gave my username and password it's correct and it's showing me some syntax error let's see what syntax error i have so when i see my query here i would have written select star from and i have written form so i write from select star from my table name now it should work i think username and password and now my username and password is correct second form opens and when i click this or when i open this combo box it should show me my names from my name column yes it shows all the names from my column name so let's confirm if these name are correct or not i go to my database here and i have this name mark john peter julie and matthew and here just see the names are the same mark john peter julie matthew here and here all names are same so it has loaded the names from the database to your combo box so i hope you have learned something new this time please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now